Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm Joy, that is Steve, and we are back with the NFL Predictions versus we are in the Conference Championships. Basically, uh, we're in, in the home stretch now. Yeah, yeah you, you yeah. can say that. You can say that. Um, the 13th is the big game, so we've got quite a bit of time to get there still, but last week was... Um, Insane. It, maddening is a yeah. good way to put it, I think. Um that, that could be a proper term there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one word uh, for it. Three three games to side on the last second field goal, and the fourth uh, went to overtime. Yeah, yeah, that overtime game was something. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how did we do? Okay, we'll start start with you. Uh, obviously, uh, you went blank there, so you're zero four. Yeah. Our, our, friend, our friend John there, uh, he. Finished at an even level with uh, two and two, and for me there, uh, it was a good week for me there. I, I finished three and one there. Yeah, that was a very good week. Uh, congrats on uh, winning the divisionals. That was very good. You're so welcome, yeah. yeah, so uh, that brings the new standings that I took extra time to actually make because I had to reorder some things. John is now in first place with 181, 101. I have a lock on second with 179, 102, and 1. And then Steve, with the big winner of last week, is 169, 112, and 1. Yeah. So Obviously, I won't be able to catch you guys there. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, winning the divisionals was darn impressive because calling that Bengals game... Yeah, that true. was that that was that was clutch. Uh, I had hoped for the Bengals, but I didn't really believe oh. it, considering uh, the whole Derrick Henry thing. But Tannehill just did yeah. not have himself a game, and it it was oh. really costly. Yeah, obviously the pick pick pickoffs for uh, Tannehill what cost him the the game there. Yeah, like when when your defense gets nine sacks on the opposing QB, and you still can't find a way of coming away with the win it, it's on you so yeah problem, the uh sir. yeah the, the interceptions definitely were the problem in that so i'm looking forward to next year from them and seeing uh where they go yeah what kind of direction they yeah yeah exactly i don't i don't know uh titan's twitter is interesting which is usually where i get most of my um my insights into where like how people are feeling about the teams and all that stuff and they're some people are saying that he needs to be let go and we need to move on because he's good enough to get us to the playoffs, but not to the actual championship. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. All right. So uh, the only yeah. loss that you had last week was the Packers and the 49ers. Would you consider yeah. that regrettable or would you still have taken the Packers uh, even though? I would, uh, I, I'd say a bit of both there. Uh, you know, I was ho hoping that Aaron Rodgers there would ha have a good game there, but, uh, but obviously uh, San Francisco's defense there uh, ma made a mockery of him there. So uh, obviously uh, could be the last time we see uh, Aaron Rodgers in the Packers uniform because I already heard rumors there that uh, possibly him going to the Broncos with his uh, offensive coordinator. Yeah, that, that would make a lot of sense, and I think that was why they hired Hackett to begin with. I don't think they hired Hackett for Hackett. I think they hired Hackett to get Rodgers. And mm -hmm. it, honestly, sayonara, bon voyage, have mm -hmm. a good day, Yeah. go away. As far yeah. from the NFC well, North as possible. Just, 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 just yeah. leave. So I guess uh, next season they'll have to rely on the Jordan Love at QB. Potentially. Um, there's going to be a lot of turnover in the North, and I'm really excited for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, really, oh. really excited. Both Packers oh. and Vikings are going to be doing some form of a rebuild, a retooling. The Bears yeah. are going to be the Bears. So this is <laughs> this is the chance. This is the chance. So I'm looking really forward to it. Um, for me last week, my biggest regret... I obviously have four of them because I got nothing right. But um, my biggest regret was not taking the Rams because I yeah. I decided to play it loyally. 
and mm -hmm. stick with who I chose in the beginning of the season. Yeah. And if I was smart, mm -hmm. I would have tied John and we would have remained tied. Yeah. But I right. was not smart and I just had some fun with it and decided to uh, go down with the ship, as SDS yeah. said. So mm -hmm. that was my yeah. big regret on that one. Um, the Bills and Chiefs game was obviously game of the week. It was yeah. just an insane their performance on both sides of the ball. So yeah, multiple lead changes though in the last two minutes of the game. There. Thirteen seconds. How? How? Now, now the Rams winning. I knew it was going to happen when they gave the ball back mm -hmm. to Stafford with forty-two seconds left. I knew exactly what was going to happen because he did that yeah. exact same thing in the uh, Dallas yeah. game with uh, Detroit. Yeah. So. I knew that I'd lost that when I seen mm -hmm. them get the ball back, but that was a really good game as well. But I think you can't really top the Bills and Chiefs. That was an amazing performance. Amazing. Yeah, really amazing. Mm -hmm. But that brings us to this week. Do you think either of these games, spot. yeah, the conference championships, do you think any of these games is going to be able to top what we've seen? Uh, it, they might there. Uh, um, may, maybe the uh, maybe the first game there w could be. Could this be one has, I'm, I'm the most yeah. interested in our AFC conference championships. So let's dive right on in and see what you think about mm -hmm. the Bengals visiting the Chiefs for the AFC title. Obviously, uh, these two teams uh, are playing a rematch from uh, Week 17, which uh, the Bengals being 34-31. Uh, mm -hmm. In surprising fashion, I think that was one of the upsets that people weren't really expecting to have happen, but they continue yeah. to stun the NFL world. So sure. do you think they can do sure. it again? Or do you think that the Chiefs have uh, learned from that week? And are going to be better prepared. Hope, yeah, oh, I hope the, the Chiefs learn from it there because uh, no, they shouldn't take take the the Bengals uh, all the Bengals weapons uh, lightly there because uh, they are a good team there. Cincinnati oh, very. there with uh, Burrow and Burrow and Mixon and uh, Chase there and mm. obviously their kicker there. <laughs> That's why you draft a kicker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was one of my favorite tweets of uh, of last week that came out. Because it's true, special teams is very, very important, and people just don't give them mm -hmm. the credit that they need for being on the team. I I hope as well that they can learn from it. Um, the duo of Burrow and Chase is very, very good, and and one of the most feared, I think, mm -hmm. or should be. But uh, this one's going to be a lot more difficult for them uh, taking on uh, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey there. Mm -hmm. that, that duel there, they they, they could if uh, they they take them lightly, then then uh, then the Chiefs are just going to going to destroy them there. Yeah, I don't think that but, either uh, uh, team this late in the game can afford to take anything lightly, and I, I hope that they don't go into it. Uh, like Arizona and just overlook their opponent because we got this. Because uh, obviously Cincinnati made it here, so they're competent enough to get the job done. So, But I will agree that Kelsey is a force to be reckoned with, so you have to make sure that you uh, don't pull a Tampa Bay and actually cover the guy. So when you have a weapon that's that good, you have to make sure that you cover them in clutch situations, and then you won't get that kind of a comeback win like the Rams did against Tampa. So. True, true. But I, I think this one's going to be another close one there for me there. But, uh, and I think, uh, I think the Chiefs will uh, pull it out by the skin of their teeth there and uh, win the game there. That's my pick. I, I agree. I, uh, I want the Bengals to win, but mm -hmm. the nine sacks – that Burrow received last week is making me very leery on picking them. Yeah. So for that and that reason alone, I am taking Kansas City. Um, I do think that Cincinnati is better 
because I think that Kansas City is mm-hmm. overrated. I've been saying it all year. But I just I can't trust that offensive line with Joe Burrow getting sacked all that, all that. So unfortunately, I agree. But I do hope for uh the Bengals to win it. Just mainly I'm not ready for their story to be over yet. It's it's been a yeah, really true. really good year for them, and I would love to see them go all the way. True. All right, so our final game, NFC Championship, NFC West rivals, San Francisco Forty Nine ers going to the Rams. Yeah, uh, obviously the two uh, had the uh, two games uh, during the season back in the week ten. There, the the Niners so obliterated. The, the Rams, uh, 31 10 there. Mm-hmm. Shockingly. And then, yeah. And then, then, the, the, the rematch happened in LA in the final week of the regular season there, uh, which, uh, the Niners, uh, squeak, squeak by the Rams, uh, 27 24 in overtime. Yep. So the, the Rams have gotten better against them as the season's gone on. Like they went from getting completely. Mm-hmm blown out and destroyed to taking them into overtime yeah true so we'll see if that kind of trend can continue now that we're into the playoffs true obviously they're uh they gotta watch out for uh the samuels there because he he could uh find a hole and uh run past him there yeah um, I, I would like to think that the run defense for uh, L.A. is decent because you've got that powerful line up front. But honestly, I, I don't know. Samuels is a darn good runner. Yeah, true. So, uh, I guess uh, pe- people like uh, Aaron Donald and uh, Vaughn Miller ha- have to uh, step up their game there. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely going to be on them to do it. We still don't really even know for sure who's going to be quarter, do we? For, uh, uh, for, for San Fran? Obviously, first, I know it's still uh, Jimmy G there, despite the uh, sh- shoulder and finger injury yeah. there. Yeah, that was, that was what on. I was thinking as well. But I know that there was some scuttle about how they needed to start Trey Lance, and I was very confused because Jimmy G is the one who got you here. So I didn't know why people were calling for Trey Lance to start, but people yeah. are dumb like that. Uh, yeah, but, but uh, don't be surprised if uh, Jimmy G uh, tries to go out there and uh, have a good there. Mm-hmm. Oh, 100%. I, I think he's going to have himself a, a decent game. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. With the uh, Rams there... Uh, they're probably probably like the Bucks last year when they took on the Saints. Their uh, mm-hmm. first two, two times they took them on, they uh, they lost there. But uh, when they get to the playoffs, they they beat them handily there. That's what I think is going to happen this year with the Rams against the Niners there. That was exactly my logic as well, because my 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 brain wanted to go with the stats and say that you know San Francisco has their number. It's, you know, Cinderella season for Matt Stafford is over and all that. But then Tampa did the exact same thing. You know, they, they got swept, and then they won when it actually mattered. So I'm going to hope that that's what happens with L.A. Um, I don't know for sure if that's what's going to happen, because I know that Stafford will do Stafford things. So yeah. I'm, I'm apprehensive. And I said last week uh, when I was in SDS uh, stream that – the best way that I can support Matt Stafford is to not believe in him because yeah. it's, it's my classic lion strategy of if I just don't believe it, then they'll do well. Mm-hmm. Cause the second yeah. I start believing in things, things go horribly yeah. wrong. So I'm going against that strategy and I'm going to trust my heart on this one. And I'm going with Stafford, even though the stats mm-hmm. are telling me not to. Yeah. And I really hope that he doesn't prove me right mm-hmm. in that I should just not believe so we shall see yeah. now so, uh, for our leader in the standings mm-hmm. his picks are exactly the same he's taking the chiefs and he's taking the rams 
So okay. there goes any hope that I had of having a split. Now, if San Francisco and Cincinnati end up winning, I am going to be very upset because mm -hmm. I could have tied it up again yeah. with him had I gone with my heart on San, or, um, my heart on Cincinnati and my stats on San Francisco instead of you doing it the other way around oh. and taking logic with Kansas City and my heart with LA. So mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes. Um, and obviously, uh, everybody, please, uh, in the comments below, uh, tell us who you think is going to be in, in the Super Bowl 56 here. Yeah, uh, let us know. Now that we're in the conference championships, we've got two games, mm -hmm. four teams, mm -hmm. last one standing. So who do you guys think is going to come away with it all? I kind of think this is the Rams' year. I don't really want to say that because they totally just bought their way in. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Tampa did the same thing last year, so I guess I should be used to it. But mm -hmm. um, still, I, I hope for Stafford that he can. I hope that he can put something magical together and, and get it. But at the same time, for the AFC, my hope is with Cincinnati. Um, again, my, my brain is telling me to go with Kansas City, but I really hope that the Cinderella story of Cincinnati can continue and that they can actually go all the way with it. But I don't know. It's going to be a really exciting weekend. We shall see. Yeah, we definitely shall. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and uh, obviously uh, hit the like and subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell for all our future uh, future videos on here. Yeah, because we will be doing this again next year. Uh, new new layout, new design, new clipboard, and the works. And but... Yeah, and obviously uh, we we still want uh, new players to join us there. Mm -hmm. If you want to, uh, please please contact Joy on her Twitter and and on Facebook there, and uh, she'll, she'll add you add you to the list there. Yeah, um, mainly I mainly talk to people through Discord. Uh, my server to that is linked down below as well. But if you want to hit me up on Twitter, like um, uh, Beam Angel, whatever yeah. uh, you want to be called by me, I'm not really sure what to call you yet. Uh, I still call you Beam. But I know that RM calls you angels. So if you're watching at this point, let me know which one you'd rather be referred to. And I'll make sure to put that on the uh, on the clipboard for you next year. But he reached out to me on Twitter uh, saying that he wanted in. So we've got him, John, and SDS are all uh, in for next year. So, so far we have a grouping of five, including you and I. So that works out really well for my clipboard. So I'm looking forward to that. And I want to see, like, my, my goal is still a perfect week. Like a regular season perfect week, not, not a, a playoffs perfect week. But exactly. I'm, I'm looking forward to having one of those one of these days and having it be recorded and on record of actually being a thing. So uh, also down below... On top of my Twitter and my uh, Discord links will be merch, memberships, and links to John's uh, socials and his YouTube channel as well. Uh, he and I have another series coming out soon uh, together that we're uh, working on. We are supposed to record that again soon too, so looking forward to that. And we will catch you guys next time for the Superb Owl <laughs> prediction <laughs> show for this series yeah. and then we're done until next year i honestly can't believe it's almost over yeah me too wow yeah thank you all for 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 listening and uh catch you next time yeah thanks for an amazing season and we will catch you with a big one mm -hmm. next week or er, february <laughs>